Hi boys and girls, Grandma Orange. We are going to be reading the story today, The Warrior King. This is a story about Joshua. I bet there's some of you out there with the name Joshua. That's a strong name. All right, this story is found in the book of Joshua. Imagine that. The Warrior King. Now, we're mentioning Moses again. Now, Moses has died, and God gave his people a new leader. His name was Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Joshua was going to lead God's people into the special land that God had promised to give them. Now, remember, boys and girls, when the, when the Egyptians chased them out, they finally left slavery of 400 years. Remember, they crossed the Red Sea. They were out in the desert. Remember, they were whining and complaining. They were hungry. They wanted water. They wanted food. They were hot. They just wanted to go back and be slaves. Okay, this is still the same people. They're still wandering. And they're still wandering because God got kind of fed up with them, whining and complaining all the time. So, we're still wandering. Same people. Only now Joshua is leading instead of Moses. Joshua was going to lead God's people into the special land, the promised land. By this time, God's people had been wandering around in the desert for guess how long? 40 years. So you can imagine how sick they were of sand and anything yellow and tense and walking and being hot and how happy they were to reach the edge of the desert and to see a beautiful new home right there in front of them. It was cool and it was green. There were trees and it was lovely. There was only one problem right there. Jericho. Now Jericho was a city, but it wasn't just any old city. It was a fortress. It was a castle. And it stopped anyone from getting into this land of great beauty. The people looked at Jericho. They looked at the giant walls. You see how small the people are and how giant the walls are? At the tall, towering ramparts, at the heavy iron gates bolted shut, and they looked at each other. What would they do? No one knew. But God knew. And God told Joshua what to do, but Joshua must have looked very surprised because it was a very odd battle plan indeed, as we'll soon find out. Then God made his people a promise. I will always be with you and I will never, ever leave you. That's today too, boys and girls. He will never, ever leave us. If you do what I say, your lives in the new land will be happy and everything will go well. So Joshua gathered the army together. They had their swords and their spears and their shields and they were ready to fight. But the plan wasn't about fighting. It was about trusting and doing what God said. Joshua's army went marching, marching, marching around the city day after day, marching around. They're too scared to fight, the people in Jericho said. But they were wrong. God's people weren't scared. They were waiting. They were waiting for God to tell them what to do next. Now on the seventh day, God told his people to march around the city, not just once, but seven times. Then God told everyone to make as much noise as they could. Has anyone ever told you to make as not much noise as you possibly can? Well, imagine that noise. Add 39,999 other people making that noise, and you get the idea. Here's a, here's a shofar, a horn, a ram's horn that they blew. I'm not even gonna try and blow it because I just look foolish trying. I have a hard time doing that, but, they were blowing their horns, they were yelling, they were screaming, they were singing, and as it turned out, the ear-splitting noise turned out to be stone-splitting, too. Because, whoops, sorry, I missed it again. Here's the army marching around. Bet it took them all day to get all the way around. But here they are, 
blowing their horns, making their noise, and what was happening? The strong walls of Jericho just crumbled to the ground as if they were made of sand. Jericho vanished in a great cloud of dust. So it was that God's people entered their new home and they didn't have to fight to get in. They only had to walk. Joshua said, God has brought you safely here. Now, will you do what he says? And everyone said, we promise. Only God can make your heart happy, Joshua said. So don't pray to pretend gods. No, they said, never. I'm afraid they didn't keep their promise. They didn't do what God said. And many years later, just as God warned them, things would go badly again. God's people. They would lose their home. Enemies would capture them and take them off as slaves, and God's people would scatter into many different lands. But God's plan, God's purpose, was still working. One day, he would give his people another leader and another home, but this home no one could ever take from them. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came a tumbling down. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls came a tumbling down. You know, sometimes we do things that are really hard. But if we ask the Lord to help us, it's like fighting a battle. When you fight your battle in the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord. When you fight your battle in the name of the Lord, the walls come tumbling down. Oh, when you fight your battle in the name of the Lord, In the name of the Lord, the walls come a tumbling down. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. Sing it really soft. Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. And the walls came a tumbling down. Joshua fought the battle really loud. Jericho. Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho. And the walls came a tumbling down. Sing it faster. Mm -hmm. 